Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. A black body or black body is an idealized physical body that absorbs all incident electromagnetic radiation, regardless of frequency or angle of incidence. The radiation emitted by a black body in thermal equilibrium with its environment is called black body radiation. The name black body is given because it absorbs all colors of light. In contrast, a white body is one with a rough surface that reflects all incident rays completely and uniformly in all directions. A black body in thermal equilibrium, that is, at a constant temperature, emits electromagnetic black body radiation. The radiation is emitted according to Planck's law, meaning that it has a spectrum that is determined by the temperature alone, see figure at right, not by the body's shape or composition. An ideal black body in thermal equilibrium has two main properties. It is an ideal emitter. At every frequency, it emits as much or more thermal radiative energy as any other body at the same temperature. It is a diffuse emitter. Measured per unit area perpendicular to the direction, the energy is radiated isotropically, independent of direction. Real materials emit energy at a fraction called the emissivity of black body energy levels. By definition, a black body in thermal equilibrium has an emissivity epsilon equals 1. A source with a lower emissivity, independent of frequency, is often referred to as a gray body. Constructing black bodies with an emissivity as close to 1 as possible remains a topic of current interest. In astronomy, the radiation from stars and planets is sometimes characterized in terms of an effective temperature, the temperature of a black body that would emit the same total flux of electromagnetic energy. Definition The idea of a black body originally was introduced by Gustav Kirchhoff in 1860 as follows. The supposition that bodies can be imagined which, for infinitely small thicknesses, completely absorb all incident rays and neither reflect nor transmit any. I shall call such bodies perfectly black or, more briefly, black bodies. A more modern definition drops the reference to infinitely small thicknesses. An ideal body is now defined called a black body. A black body allows all incident radiation to pass into it, no reflected energy, and internally absorbs all the incident radiation, no energy transmitted through the body. This is true for radiation of all wavelengths and for all angles of incidence. Hence, the black body is a perfect absorber for all incident radiation. Idealizations this section describes some concepts developed in connection with black bodies. Cavity with a hole, a widely used model of a black surface is a small hole in A. Cavity with walls that are opaque to radiation. Radiation incident on the hole will pass into the cavity and is very unlikely to be re-emitted if the cavity is large. Lack of any re-emission means that the hole is behaving like a perfect black surface. The hole is not quite a perfect black surface. In particular, if the wavelength of the incident radiation is greater than the diameter of the hole, part will be reflected. Similarly, even in perfect thermal equilibrium, the radiation inside a finite size cavity will not have an ideal Planck spectrum for wavelengths comparable to or larger than the size of the cavity. Suppose the cavity is held at a fixed temperature T and the radiation trapped inside the enclosure is at thermal equilibrium with the enclosure. The hole in the enclosure will allow some radiation to escape. If the hole is small, radiation passing in and out of the hole has negligible effect upon the equilibrium of the radiation inside the cavity. This escaping radiation will approximate black body radiation that exhibits a distribution in energy characteristic of the temperature T and does not depend upon the properties of the cavity or the hole at least for wavelengths smaller than the size of the hole. See the figure in the introduction for the spectrum as a function of the frequency of the radiation, which is related to the energy of the radiation by the equation E equals HF, with E equals energy, H equals Planck constant, F equals frequency. At any given time, the radiation in the cavity may not be in thermal equilibrium, but the second law of thermodynamics states that if left undisturbed, it will eventually reach equilibrium although the time it takes to do so may be very long. Typically, equilibrium is reached by continual absorption and emission of radiation by material in the cavity or its walls. Radiation entering the cavity will be thermalized by this mechanism. 
the energy will be redistributed until the ensemble of photons achieves a Planck distribution. The time taken for thermalization is much faster with condensed matter present than with rarefied matter, such as a dilute gas. At temperatures below billions of Kelvin, direct photon, photon interactions are usually negligible compared to interactions with matter. Photons are an example of an interacting boson gas, and as described by the H theorem, under very general conditions, any interacting boson gas will approach thermal equilibrium. Transmission, absorption, and reflection a body's behavior with regard to thermal radiation is characterized by its transmission tau, absorption alpha, and reflection rho. The boundary of a body forms an interface with its surroundings, and this interface may be rough or smooth. A non-reflecting interface separating regions with different refractive indices must be rough because the laws of reflection and refraction governed by the Fresnel equations for a smooth interface require a reflected ray when the refractive indices of the material and its surroundings differ. A few idealized types of behavior are given particular names and opaque. Body is one that transmits none of the radiation that reaches it, although some may be reflected. That is, tau equals zero and alpha plus rho equals one. A transparent body is one that transmits all the radiation that reaches it. That is, tau equals one and alpha equals rho equals zero. A gray body is one where alpha, rho, and tau are constant for all wavelengths. This term also is used to mean a body for which alpha is temperature and wavelength independent. A white body is one for which all incident radiation is reflected uniformly in all directions. Tau equals zero, alpha equals zero, and rho equals one. For a black body, tau equals zero, alpha equals one, and rho equals zero. Planck offers a theoretical model for perfectly black bodies, which he noted do not exist in nature. Besides their opaque interior, they have interfaces that are perfectly transmitting and non-reflective. Kirchhoff's perfect black bodies Kirchhoff in 1860 introduced the theoretical concept of a perfect black body with a completely absorbing surface layer of infinitely small thickness. But Planck noted some severe restrictions upon this idea. Planck noted three requirements upon a black body. The body must die, allow radiation to enter but not reflect to possess a minimum thickness adequate to absorb the incident radiation and prevent its re-emission. Three, satisfy severe limitations upon scattering to prevent radiation from entering and bouncing back out. As a consequence, Kirchhoff's perfect black bodies that absorb all the radiation that falls on them cannot be realized in an infinitely thin surface layer and impose. Conditions upon scattering of the light within the black body that are difficult to satisfy. Realizations A realization of a black body refers to a real world, physical embodiment. Here are a few. Cavity with a hole. 